The goal of this video is to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial of using Genie Plus. We are going to walk you through every button push on the app, and then we're gonna show you us using it in practicality, in action, here at Disneyland Park today. And I am gonna go ahead and purchase Genie Plus now. I'm gonna walk you through the whole process. We were just um, on the home screen of the app, the, the little home screen there, and you push purchase, scroll down here you can just skip through all that and get Disney Genie now it's only gonna let me select the tickets of people that are scanned into the park and then I confirm party and this is the cost now it's $30 per day but I have an annual pass holder magic key holder so I get a discount and so we're gonna continue to check out and then we are going to check out with Apple pay be paid it's popped us out to the booking screen and now I can look through, uh, oh, what is that? So we wanna show lightning lanes only. Okay, so now it's gonna show us only lightning lanes. What I'm initially gonna do is scroll through and see what rides are out the furthest. So Haunted Mansion Holiday, it closes on Monday. We're not gonna do that ride today because it'll be closed for the bulk of you. There we go, Indiana Jones out at 840. That's probably gonna be the furthest one out. Oh, no, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway at 845. Uh, so usually I, I grab one of the furthest ones that are out. Uh, as soon as Amy just went to the restroom, as soon as she gets out, I'll talk to her and we'll figure out what we want to do. Now, generally I advise pinning the attractions to the top of your board, but I don't see that. So what we're going to have to do is come over here to my day and we're going to have to set this up. Start now. You can do this before. I think you can do this the day before you get here. Probably speed things along. The attractions that we're going to be most interested in Typically speaking, the ones that run out the fastest are gonna be Mickey and Minnie's, Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, and Indiana Jones Adventure. So I'm gonna select those. We're gonna skip this for now. It should let me, there we go, edit selections. So my top picks. So those are the three that I picked before. Of course, we can always edit it. Amy has made it out Hi. now. <laughs> so we're gonna decide which of these rides we wanna ride. Indiana Jones is 845, Mickey and Minnie's is 850. So which one do you wanna grab first? Probably Indiana Jones since it's in this area. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna choose uh, Indiana Jones because it is at the front of the park. So it gives us a return time window of 850 to 950, and that's good, we're just gonna book it. And now we have it. So a couple of things with that, if we changed our mind, oh man, I really don't want that ride anymore. I just booked it, but I don't want it. Um, I can just come here and I can click this button up at the top and we can modify our plan. So I can either change to a time, change to a different time, and it's just showing me the next available window right now. If I were to do this, you know, a half an hour from now, it'd be a different time. Or I can pick a totally different lightning lane. Uh, and that's the modify if you decide you want to change your mind. Again, that's on the three dots there off to the sign. But you can see it says booked. It is 7.52. Now we just have to wait for that time to become available. This is different from some of the previous videos that we've done. Uh, and if you're still confused after watching this one, I, I will put a link to those other Genie Plus videos, both down in the description and in the end screen at the end of this video, so you can watch. I know sometimes the, the more videos you watch on different styles, uh, the more information you can absorb. So as soon as it hits 8.50, we will jump ahead and, and show you what's next. If you're curious what we're doing in the in-between while we wait for our first lightning lane to you know, come up, we are riding standby rides. So we just rope dropped Space Mountain and you can check out a rope drop video for like a detailed analysis of everything that we did for rope drop. But I do want to talk about a question you may have. Why did you pick the lightning lane that was the furthest out? That why did you pick Indiana Jones? Why not pick something like Space Mountain? Why did you stand by it? Well, uh, because the line only took us 10 minutes to get through. 10 minutes from the moment we entered the line to the moment that we walked on the ride. And later in the day, Space Mountain's gonna have a 70 minute wait. So I'm gonna use my lightning lane when I can skip 70 minutes. And ride it again. <laughs> and ride it again. Yes, absolutely. Well, it's 8.58 and uh, <laughs> Indiana Jones is only a 20 minute standby wait. So it kind of is a bit of a waste for the lightning lane even so, but here's, uh, we've got magic bands. So we're gonna show you how it works. Come up here. Scan green, I love that sound. Good Happy sound. Happy sound. And uh, see, so the lightning lane only skips, for this ride only skips what's outside. And since there's like nobody outside, 
we're honestly not really skipping anybody. And I mean, sometimes that happens even, <laughs> even booking a lightning lane as far, as far out as nine o'clock like this. But, uh, oh well, it is what it is. Now, typically would be a time where we would book our next lightning lane. However, Indiana Jones, this building I'm in right now, is pretty much a dead zone. You step in here and you lose all cell reception. I will hit the curtain of time. It is your destiny. Of course. We get out of the ride, and now there's a massive standby line that we could have skipped. <laughs> if you are enjoying this video and finding it helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you have questions as you're watching, drop them in the comments. Always happy to answer. So I want to quickly describe what was just going on there because a lot was happening and the line was moving really fast. As soon as we scanned in, you saw the green light. We're able to immediately book another lightning lane. And uh, we booked Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway while we were inside there. And uh, we can join Disney Wi-Fi because uh, typically you run at a cell reception inside Indiana Jones, but Disney Wi-Fi is running inside the building there. So we grabbed Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway for 10, uh, 10, 10, I believe. Uh, you can try to get an earlier time. Some, sometimes people will ditch their reservations and an earlier time will pop up. So I was refreshing probably maybe two or three minutes trying to get an earlier one, but I couldn't get one. In the meantime, I did see that Indiana Jones is all the way out to 1145. So we were right to pick that one first. The reason we picked the furthest, the rides for the furthest time out right now is because we don't want to hit the two hour rule later in the day. What is the two hour rule? It essentially, the, it boils down to uh, you can choose a new lightning lane when either you use the previous lightning lane that you just booked or two hours elapses. And if you book one, like a lightning lane that's available in just five minutes, that means I can book another lightning lane after I scan in for that one. So I could technically go through about six or seven lightning lanes in an hour if I wanted to. But that means that some of these more popular rides are gonna just keep pushing further out like we're seeing Indiana Jones pushing further out right now. So here's a little bit of a demonstration of the two hour rule. So we booked at nine o'clock initially. It says when you can book, 11 a.m. Or, so if I scan in, I think I can scan in at tunnel five. We're gonna try to scan in five minutes early. And as soon as I scan in, I can book another one. Now, um, also, also it says it's temporarily closed. If it stays closed up until our window, which is only 30 minutes away, we're gonna get a multi-experience pass. We'll talk about what that means when it happens, if it happens. But check this out. Indiana Jones is out to 12.55 right now. That's crazy. That's three hours out. And if you were to book that now, you'd definitely be engaging the two hour rule because it's impossible to scan in any earlier than the two hours. Uh, plus I need to edit my selections because there's no reason for me to have Indiana Jones up here anymore. So we have Smuggler's Run here, which I know typically runs out faster, but I guess not today because look, Autopia is actually further out. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad's further out, Buzz Lightyear. They're all 945, 950, and again, it's 940. So if I book Pretty much any of these I can get in right away. Whoa, Indiana Jones is one o'clock now. It's a Small World's 945, Matterhorn's 955. That might be a good idea. Um, you know, Matterhorn uh, right after uh, Mickey and Minnie's because we'll be up that way already. So what I wanna do is I wanna add Matterhorn probably as my selection, but I'm gonna have to go back to the edit selection screen. Space Mountain, I already rope dropped. That one is, is going a little bit further out, but it's still not crazy, 941. 10, 15, it's, it's not that bad. It's only a half an hour. So um, I'm not like in a rush to make sure I grab Space Mountain. So let's go to edit selections. And like I said, we're going to add Matterhorn. And why am I doing this edit selections? Why am I, and I can take Mickey and Minnie's off because I've, I've got the Lightning Lane books now. Um, because what I'm trying to do is I'm putting my top picks here at the top of the, the list so that when I refresh to check times, they're both hanging out here at the top. Otherwise, I gotta go scrolling all the way down through the list and I gotta find it. And every time you refresh, to have to go scroll through all those is a pain. That's why we pin them, just to make them easier to find. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is up next. The line forms there, 40 minutes. We're definitely skipping a lot here. This feels good. You always get that like dopamine rush walking past everybody. One of the best things, the lightning lane. We're gonna come in here, we're gonna scan and we're gonna make the happy sound. Happy sound. Ah, happy sound. 
glorious. Absolutely glorious. I'd do this more often except for we'd go broke. Now that we've stopped moving, we're going to pick our next selection. So Matterhorn was what we said before, 1015, 1030, that's perfect. We can definitely go for that. And there we go, 1030 to 1130. We better not get soaking wet on Matterhorn again. The last time we rode it, I don't know what was going on with it, but we got like Splash Mountain wet on it. <laughs> oh no! I must have hit that track switch! Wait, wait. Oh no! Still raining. Oh look, wait time for Matterhorn is only 20 minutes at the moment. No, no, I just go, it's fine. So if you don't have a magic band for coming up here to the scanning booth, you can just use your phone. What you uh, would have done is scan your ticket on your phone. That's what a lot of people are doing here. And you just stick it in the slot. I'll show you the slot later. It's kind of raining, it's hard for me to show you things in the rain but now we've got to look for the next ride that we want to do but we didn't really have a chance to pin anything else millennium falcons 10 40 the current time is 10 39 so <laughs> that's just available in a minute let's look for something maybe a little further out uh autopia big thunder 10 40 buzz lightyear 10 40. so yeah i mean basically we did the furthest ones out roger rabbits is uh 30 minutes out not that I like that ride. Uh, Space Mountain is you know, less than two hours out, but it's um, somewhat far out. So this is what we ended up grabbing. Went with Space Mountain. It ended up uh, popping up to 12.05 but while we made a decision. Even though it's an hour and 20 minutes out, we, we want to eat lunch. We're going to go to the lockers and drop off some things. Uh, I might also film another video in between. So we just decided to push the time out. Uh, because we wanted to fill that time with other things. A strategy to make use of the two hour rule, if you have to ride a ride that's more than two hours out, is to do it whenever you're gonna have a table service restaurant, because those take some time. Or maybe during the afternoon, you wanna go back to the hotel for an afternoon break and you know you're not gonna be in the park. That's when you could book a lightning lane that is further out and engage that two hour rule effectively without wasting time in the park. Did you get wet? Yeah, I mean, but not from the water at the end. I got more wet because on the ride, because it's raining, there were lots of little places where water was just coming off the side of the ride off the mountain and dripping right onto every person. <laughs> it was like riding Slack Mountain, but Matterhorn. I think it's gonna be raining pretty good like this all day. So uh, as I mentioned, we're gonna go get a locker next, right? Yeah. Then we'll ride Space Mountain again because who doesn't love to ride Space Mountain twice? Uh, so we've just finished up lunch. We went to Tiana's Palace. We ended up finding one lone table with an umbrella. So now we're going to Space Mountain for our Lightning Lane. Because we rope dropped it this morning, we get to ride it again. Amy brings up a good point that we haven't yet talked about, and that is that you can only book a lightning lane once throughout the day. So we rode Indiana Jones on lightning lane. We cannot book Indiana Jones again because it's only one time use for Genie Plus. And right now it says Space Mountain is 60 minutes. So what a better time to use our Space Mountain lightning lane. Now, as we approach the pole here, you see that slot below the red dot? That's where you would put your phone to scan your phone. But we can use our magic bands. Amy is just gonna do that. Ding. Ding. We love our Magic Bands, Magic Band Pluses. I mean, we've been going to Walt Disney World for years. That, that was where Amy and I went on our honeymoon. And we've literally been going probably about once a year ever since. Not quite. There's been a couple of years that we've missed, but um, it was, you know, we have gone a lot. And we're used to Magic Bands there. We're so happy when they brought them here. If you want to see what you can do at Disneyland with Magic Bands, I'll put a link down in the description to our video where we covered everything that you need to know about Magic Band Plus. Wow, so this is the lightning lane line They're wrapping all the way up here. I thought that was uh, part of the standby, but no, that's the lightning lane. Wow, is it like broken or something? Because this isn't moving at all. Space Mountain breaks a lot, which is another reason why we rope drop it, because it's usually almost always working in the morning. Every time we've tried to ride it in the afternoon, it's been broken, which means that we're stuck just standing here. So Amy just noticed that Roger Rabbit's is closed, and it's, it's only 12.05, I think, right now. Uh, you can't really see the time very well. The return time is one, but she just saw for 12.15 pop up. If we can grab one for a ride that is currently closed, it's available almost immediately. We can get ourselves a multi-experience pass. I know I mentioned that briefly earlier. I do want to explain what that is, but I also want to show you what it is. So I'm going to try to obtain one. You get a multi 
experience um, redemption pass when you book a ride that is temporarily closed when your time becomes available to ride it. So I just decided to book Roger Rabbits in the end anyway. Every other ride that's Lightning Lane compatible that we have not yet ridden today is available immediately. We've managed to knock out all the rides that have later wait times. And Indiana Jones is out to 4.05 at the moment. That's four hours. Uh, Mickey Minis is at 3.30. That's three and a half hours. So we knocked all those out before they exceeded the two hour mark, which was the smart play. After a brief delay due to meteor showers, their words, not mine, we have made it into the loading room. Ah, I just went to my happy space. If only they still had the happy space t-shirt. While we were riding Space Mountain, Roger Rabbits reopened, and the only reason we booked that was in hopes of getting a multi-experience pass. So Amy is currently scrolling through trying to find something that we might want to go do instead. We rode Buzz Lightyear earlier during rope drop standby but uh, it is available in just five minutes. And look at that standby line. This would be like the perfect opportunity to skip a good chunk of line. So I think we're gonna do that. So again, just to show you how that works, you would come up here, you'd click on the one that you uh, want. You can actually straight up cancel it, but I don't recommend doing that. Just recommend modifying, because if you change your mind and you wanna keep the one that you have, you can. Um, but so now we just need to scroll down to Buzz Lightyear, which is right here, and uh, there we go. Now we have a Buzz Lightyear Astro Blaster available in just four minutes. So we can actually go use it right now because we can check in early. Oh boy, check out the Lightning Lane return line. So because this Lightning Lane is insane and it's barely moving, I think it's gonna be like when we rope dropped this earlier. And if you watch our rope drop video, you'll see that it was like breaking constantly. I don't know if it's breaking. They were probably just stopping it to like, you know, let wheelchairs on and things. I'm not exactly sure. We just decided to switch to Star Tour since it's right over here and it was also available immediately. I think most of the rides from here on out are gonna be available immediately for us, thankfully. This is a much more manageable line, yes. I am getting a problem. I am We are gonna look for what to do next. Uh, Millennium Falcon's 35 minutes and it's available immediately. And the line's moving, so we'll keep looking in a second. Okay, so let's see what we can get. Um, we're looking for lines that are long, like, I mean, like Buzz, because of course we'd love to skip 45 minutes, but I mean, pretty much anything with a long wait time we've already ridden. Maybe Millennium Falcon is what we go for next, because it's a 35 minute wait, so I think we're going to. All right, there we go. Contact departure on frequency 429. Wait! Stop right there. Don't shoot. I know you have a spy on board. I'm afraid there's been a terrible mistake. So Amy's not the biggest fan of Star Tours, but she tolerated it I for tolerated me. It. But uh, we had some decent scenes. I didn't film the whole thing, so the, the best parts came after I stopped filming. And it's not that I don't like the ride. This ride just makes me like have a headache and queasy. If you didn't see my ride guide and you didn't know, Star Tours is actually launching all new scenes starting on April 5th for Season of the Force. Uh, also, Space Mountain is getting Hyperspace Mountain. Now, Hyperspace Mountain is only going to be here for the two months of Season of the Force, but I suspect that the new scenes will be permanent because if they're going to put the effort into making the simulator react to them and create them, they're going to be around longer than just two months. Now we're just working our way over to Galaxy's Edge to use our next lightning lane. At this point, honestly, we're just going to keep, you know, making lightning lanes and going to them. Everything's available immediately. There's really nothing else that I can teach you. Um, you can book the other rides in the other park on Lightning Lanes too. We just chose not to today to make this more simple for you guys. We are pretty much staying in Disneyland today. And we're not really rushing either. This yeah. isn't a challenge. We're not trying to get every single ride done. Yeah, when we get to the challenge, we're like... <laughs> Ping-ponging. <laughs> Detour. Amy sees Big Thunder at five minutes and she's like, oh, let's go stand by the ride again. So, <laughs> uh, we actually could lightning lane this too. I just don't want to waste a lightning lane on it when it's a five minute wait. And we just couldn't resist it. So, here we go, Big Thunder again. Well, that's it for this Genie Plus tutorial. There's really not much else that I can share with you. If you have questions, you can drop them in the comments below. Uh, we didn't get to talk about the multi-experience pass, but it is mentioned in depth in our tips video, which is showing on the screen right now. So if you just click that and watch it, you'll get a whole lot more information than here. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe, and we will see you again next time.